I witnessed, recorded, and produced these videotapes of the Washington, D.C. hearing. Their authenticity is above question. This is produced as part of the ongoing work on the website the way, the truth, and the life dot net. This is a hearing about the government licensing the electrocution of people to cause grand mall seizures. Think of the millions of dollars taxpayers' money spent to pay psychiatrists and their supporters and for the worldwide travel in putting this conference together, while the victims and opponents had to pay their own way. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I appreciate you can get uh, going. Uh, I guess uh, for our panel, it will, it will be easier right. to arrive here this morning on time. They simply came uh, straight from the conference room where they worked all night. Uh, I really, since I probably will not be at the mic anymore, uh, on behalf of the NIH and NIH, I want to thank the panel for their friendly dedication. The team spirit, uh, I have to say, from among those conferences I've seen, this panel has been outstanding in terms of uh, working together, uh, everybody uh, contributing immensely to a very focused debate. And that was the reason that uh, we were in session uh, just about until the time we had to leave uh, to arrive here. I just want to briefly uh, outline the procedure we'll follow this morning. Uh, the chairman, Dr. Rose, will read the consensus, the draft consensus statement to you, the entire document. After the reading, he will then take comments and questions from the floor on a question by question, beginning with question one through five. We have asked Dr. Rose to recognize people from among those that will raise their hand in the crowd. That way, we'll ensure that the panel receives all the feedback from the speakers who presented the data, and we'll make sure that the panel has appropriately interpreted this data. That is the purpose, primarily, of that, this morning's session. At the same time, we have asked Dr. Rose to make sure that he recognizes those people who are likely to express an opinion other than that expressed in the document. So we'll have all of you express, but we'll recognize people from their seat to take the standby microphone. We'll also avoid the complaint we've heard that people had uh, their backs, other uh, aches and pains we had to stand by the mic. So we then have a long morning and I'll call for Dr. Rose to pick up. One electroshock treatment can equal the energy of three pistol shots to the head. Do that. And if you're going to give a procedure, the 
total energy and the total time of the physical parameters that characterize the device. How could you not include that information? And if a doctor prescribes a drug, he has to record the prescription. Why isn't the total time and the total energy recorded? This has been an experimental hazardous device for years now. Why hasn't this information been gathered that we could be talking with concrete objective facts rather than subjective opinions of psychiatrists and patients? One electroshock treatment can equal the energy of three pistol shots to the head. All right, out with your gun. Huh? Out with your gun. Uh, it just won't hurt. It'll be over in just a moment. Uh huh. What's that? Conductant. Oh, dab will do you. All right, Mr. Jackson. Open your mouth. What's that? This will keep you from biting your tongue. Oil. Now just bite down on it. That's right. Just bite down. Huh? Now bite down oh, on good. it. Thank <laughs> you. 